You're listening to Colonel Halle, Season 2, Episode 4, Parts Unknown. Uh, this place is so crowded on weekday mornings. We will never find a table for the meeting. I hate being the first ones to get to a place. Okay, we'll see you later. Bye-bye. It appears the weaving circle is vacating their table. Chip, why don't you go over there and claim it for our gathering? Do I really have to go to the counter and pick up the drink orders? Well now, Bonita, you did lose it, rat paper gizzard. Worst two out of three picks up the drinks. Those were the rules. I know. I just hate it when the gargoyles are working. Oh, they're all right, Nita. Just show them some of your famous Mistress of Mystery charm. Uh, yep, that's it. Right there. Well, well, well. Who do we got here? Hi, gentlemen. I would like to pick up my Etherweb order, please. Should be under Von Wangenkamp. Oh, Etherweb order. Big fancy lady with the hair in a tube shape ordered her coffee on the Etherweb. Bloody da, ma'am. I got your order right here. Okay, thanks. That's great. I know it was kind of a big order. Sorry about that. A real big order. Did you hear that, Chuck? This important lady over here ordered a lot of coffees for her many friends and acquaintances. She's so popular. We're real impressed, lady. Now let's go over all the drinks in your order so all your friends will get all their fancy coffee just how they like it. Oh, you know, that's not really necessary. If I could just have my... No, ma'am. Boss says we gotta review each order because apparently we keep messing up. Yeah, we can't tell all these fancy, fancy drinks apart. And our boss and mentor, Rocky the Stone Golem, says we gotta do things right. Right, boss? That's right. I need a... Hey. Doing a bang-up job with these two, Rocky. Thank you. So we got four drinks here, and a dozen frightful scones, and assorted pastries. Blood orange tea for a beanie toe. Uh, Bonita. That's me. Thanks. A lavender-infused scary Mary latte with two pumps of butterscotch syrup. Ooh, la-di-da. Or should I say, ooh, latte-da-da. Good one, Sam. (laughs) Yep, that's for Pastor Munch. And a carafe of six-foot-deep black roast coffee in one of plain hot water. And then you should have one more drink. Ah, plus this mystery drink I just stirred with my fingers. That one can be chips. Y'all in cattle holler. This is the best manticore mocha I've ever had. Sweet, spicy, and something I can't quite put my finger on. Or in. All right. Is everyone ready to convene this meeting of the mysterious cadre of murder investigators? I yep, am, now that you called Let's us that. It. it seems we are all present, but I would still prefer that we perform a perfunctory roll call. Especially as it seems Miss Von Wangenkamp is recording this meeting for her Bluetooth channel. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bonita Von Wangenkamp, Mistress of Mystery, and Secretary, I guess. Present. Well, I was gonna go first, Bonita, but that's okay, too. Oops. Reddo. Albert Aloysius Ghost, Colonel Holler Caretaker. Rochester McCall, Town Elder, and General Man at Arms. Sheriff Pastor Munch, Law Keeper and Spiritual Advisor. Chip Clearly, Handsome Genius Investigator, and Car Entrepreneur. Thank you, friends. 
Now I'm going to ask our secretary, Bonita, to review our agenda. Okay, item one. Albert reviews his emergency boo tube tax levy proposal and discusses strategies to increase turnout for today's decidedly unsexy yet marvelous and important levy vote. Who wrote this, Albert? I've been crowdsourcing administrative duties in this time of exigency. That was from Mr. Goliath. Uh, item two. Sheriff Pastor Munch informs the investigation team that we're all off the case because the Elsewhere Council has stepped in. Wait, what? Yes, Bonita, the Elsewhere Council wishes to take over the investigation. They've called in the feds. Did you say they called in the feds or the feds? Traditionally, Elsewhere Council detective duties are performed by esteemed cyclopes who wear a fez. We don't know why that's the look they all decided on. I've got to say, that sounds like a great look. Do the fezes have tassels? Asking the important questions. Albert, Pasta, were you able to brief the council on the investigation thus far? Surely they are pursuing Chip and Bonita's critical lead. Yeah, summoning Simon is still at large and we're pretty sure he killed the collector. He was hired by Henry Vex, the man who created the cacophony, to steal it out of the collector's house. But then blammo, the collector winds up dead, killed by the cacophony. Yeah, and summoning Simon sure does hate this town a lot. Plus he smells. Smells with the stink of murder! We have turned over all of your invaluable data to the Elsewhere Council. Chip and Bonita, if summoning Simon is our man, then we need to let the Fez handle him. If he indeed possesses the cacophony as you say he does, then it is far too dangerous to try to apprehend him yourselves. Or apprehend him with your own sheriff. Or with your own sheriff and his deputy, who couldn't come to this man because he couldn't get a babysitter. Well, we're not that impulsive, Pastor Munch. I mean, Chip is, but usually that's just food related. Either way, it sounds as though the investigation has come to a halt for now. I suggest the two of you come back to the boutique with me. There's plenty to keep you busy there. Yes, I think after all that stress, we could all use a nice normal day. I'm gonna go to the town pageant festival. Is that today? Nita, I think I signed us up to do something or other. Let me check my planner. I don't really remember. Chip, I know you're not about to tell me that we're gonna be in the pageant. That would be too dumb for words. No, Nita. We're gonna have a booth at the festival to promote our boutique and car lot and BooTube channel and investigation consultant business. Well, that sounds like a disaster in the making. It's good synergy, Nita. If there is no more pressing business, I suppose we can adjourn the meeting early. I have a lot of work to do once the levy is approved. Okay, good meeting, everyone. As you're leaving, please place any unwanted scones into this doggy bag. We have food at home. Here you go, brother Chip. What do you think, Mr. Chip? How do I look stirring this pot of goop? Looking good, Gablena. You're gonna have the best outfitted chili truck at the whole festival. Hey, hey y'all think old caretaking Albert Ghost is gonna be there? I got a lot of crazy ideas I want him to hear. Uh, yeah, he said he would be. I think he's gonna go to the festival and encourage people to go vote on his emergency tax levy. Man, he's always trying to get people to vote on things. Vote for him, vote for a boo tube tax. Yeah, that's two things. Be still, Pumpkin. If you don't stop wiggling like a corpse worm, I won't be able to thread your boutonniere. I got a wiggle. I can't help it. Hey, Pumpkin, isn't it kind of early to be getting ready for the pageant? You don't want to wrinkle your competition overalls. Does he have sequins on his overalls? Whose appalling handiwork is that? I did it with a hot glue gun. Bet you didn't know that Chip clearly was a little Mr. Sorghum for six years straight back on Earth. And you never made it to Big Mr. Sorghum? What a pity. Nita, it's my one regret in life. There, Pumpkin. Now you're ready for your pageant. Thank you, Great Daddy. <laughs> Why is everybody so into this pageant festival thing? Well, Benita, the portal crisis left us without a football stadium. The townsfolk need a way to display their civic pride and channel their violent, competitive spirits. Pageantry is a suitable replacement for now. Yeah, Nita. In fact, I was going to sign up for the pageant. But then I saw how many of the other contestants were former linebackers for the Hobgoblins. 
Ship clearly doesn't want to upstage a guy with two wolf heads and a bear body. And that's why you've decided we're going to have a booth instead. And do a raffle for one of Chip Clearly's quality used cars. Yes, I'm sure winning one of your cars won't confuse or anger any monsters. <gasps> Quick, Nita! I need a cummerbund for Albert to wear to the pageant. He's supposed to escort me on stage for my screaming routine. Mimi, you can't just buy off the rack and expect to win. Albert should have ordered a custom cummerbund months ago. Why would you say that? <gasps> Wait, is that true? I was coming in for a last-minute cummerbund, too. Chip, what have you done? Mimi, Giant Eyeball, both of you, come over here. We have plenty of magician's cummerbunds in stock, and I'm sure any of them will look great. Oh, do you have any with sequins? Are you sure you don't have one in my size? I'm pretty big around. Okay, is everyone in the store right now looking for a last-minute cummerbund for the pageant? Yes. I also need pixie six to stay energized. Come on. I need two. Okay, Rochester, would you please escort Wolfgang here to our Fay confections? And Chip, would you mind ringing these people up? I'm fixing to send a whole slew of pleated Houdinis your way. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Urgent, you say? And you'll tip handsomely? Well, now you're speaking my language. We'll see you in a bit. Nita, forget those unprepared third runners up. I've got something way more fun for us to do. Uh, pretty much anything is going to be more fun than watching Mr. Giant Eyeball leak any more eyeball juice onto our inventory. Well, excuse me for blinking, Benita. Get in the car. We've got a delivery to make. Nita, I'd like to make another formal request for car snacks. Request denied, Chip. Fine. I'll just take a haunted sausage from that enormous package in the back seat. You realize how this works, right? We have to deliver that package like we're a real business, or else we'll get another bad review that we'll have to explain to Rochester. Those are good points, Nita, but I'm just talking about one sausage here. I have several more good points, starting with, you can't eat just one, and we know that. Plus, I'm guessing the kind of person who orders 500 haunted sausages is gonna notice when one of them is missing. Ugh, they smell like socks. Who would order these things anyway? Trolls? With a doomsday bunker? And whoever it is, they're never going to get their package if our car doesn't make it. Are you sure this thing's okay to drive? And before you answer, I'm holding the door handle in my lap. This is the fly-by-night Harpy LE. It gets you there fast, and that's what counts. And on top of it all, I don't know where we are. So let's pull over so we can get a better look at the map. Okay, so this is the wrong map. This is the one o'clock map and we need the two o'clock. The big windy road changed course and now we're lost. How are we supposed to get back to the pageant festival on time? <laughs> um, can we help you ladies? Drive us to our destiny! Wait a minute, who are you guys? Where'd you come from? Read the sign outside your window. Wizard Tower area. Do not pick up witch hikers. It's too late. We're already here. And we're all buckled up. I remember you guys. You're the Mandrake sisters. And you almost made us that delicious stew last year. We finished our stew without you. And now we have a cooking show. Perhaps you've seen the witching hour? Oh yeah, we've seen it. We're stars now. And ready for public acclaim. Drive us to our fans. Drive, drive. Are you driving, Chip? Are we doing this? <laughs> They're very convincing. Do I smell meat? There's meat in this box. Meat, 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 meat. Chip, I'm not going to say anything. I just want an answer. Is this car dead? Of course it's dead. Like our dreams. The thing about this car is it's missing some of your traditional engine parts. Uh-huh. We might need a filter, some belts, oil, anything you'd need to drive a car once, and then several times after that. This car needs more ingredients. Like sand. And rocks. Actually put that rock over here. I might plug the leak. All right, that's enough information for now. 
I'm gonna call Rochester and see if he can cover for us at the pageant. Cause we might not make it back in time. Forever! Forever. Yeah, Chip. Use my press on nail. Okay, but I'm skeptical. Hello, this is the boutique where all purchases are final. Hey, Roddy. You busy right now? Cause we need to ask you a favor. Excuse me a moment. Pumpkin, do not let me see that coloring book while you're on the clock. Well, that was gonna be a picture for you, but that's fine. My apologies, Nita. You are about to tell me of your successful delivery and how you performed your duties with such efficiency you had time to pick me up a surprise. Well, actually, our car broke down. Mm. But we are getting help from some hitchhikers. Mm. And now we need you to take over raffle duties for us at the pageant? Bonita, I don't need to remind you about the importance of these deliveries. We know. We're going to figure it out. We all feel very strongly about these sausages. <laughs> Get away from the box, everybody. You too, Chip. So, what denigration awaits me at this pageant? Okay, the car's already there. All you have to do is collect the names and pick a winner. But make sure it's nobody annoying. Oh, and they probably shouldn't know anything about cars. And at this pageant, am I to stand in stony silence while the masses gawp at Chip's derelict jalopy? Or, you know, see how it goes. But you'll cover for us, right? I don't see us getting on the road anytime soon. I'll see what I can do. But what of your fate? Do you need assistance? I could ask Minerva for advice on car repair. We will need a tow truck. It was your fault. Uh, what you did. We're going to call you, you back, right? Yeah. Everything is looking just beautiful, gang. Hey there, Goliath. Watch the pillars. The plaster and the very breakable. You think I'm made out of pillars? Come on. <clears throat> Excuse me, Mrs. Weaver. Well, if it isn't Mr. Rochester from the boutique, and you brought your girlfriend with you, too. Hi, Minerva. Hey. Mr. Rochester, are you here to sign up to be in the pageant? We do have a decrepit Mr. category. Ah, well. I have a display for a festival vendor booth for the boutique. Chip and Benito were supposed to come set it up, but I'm afraid they've been waylaid. Oh, I see. Yes, you'll be in the giveaway gauntlet, which is in the atrium. Come on, walk with me. What all did you bring? Well, <clears throat> I believe this case contains a pop-up banner, a raffle box display, and an urn full of something Chip referred to only as booth swag. Oh dear. Plus, I've got an LED Bluetooth screen and pocket connector to set up. Chip wanted to show a live feed of his Instagram account at the booth. That sounds so technical, Minerva. That Chip clearly is such an enterprising young go-getter. I like his style. Eh, he's a good kid, but he needs to focus. He has a lot of ideas, but no idea how to execute them. I assume you're referring to Chip's infernal monster truck project. I agree that his modification ideas are a bit overly ambitious. Well, if I can get that truck to do even half of what he's asked for, that thing is going to burn serious rubble. If anyone can do it, it's you and your big squishy brain, Minerva. You two are adorable. Get a tomb, would you? Ugh, I love it. Anyway, here's your booth space. Thank you. Another thing, Mrs. Weaver. Albert asked me to hang flyers to advertise today's emergency levy vote. He told me to assure you that he would remove them at the end of the day. Where might I post them? Yeah, would you look at those? They don't match my color scheme, Mr. Ghost. I love you, but give me a break. Why don't you put them in your booth? Well, all right, Mrs. Weaver. I suppose it's only fair that the Social Events Committee Chair Spider can forbid the posting of bills. Pass to munch. I see you brought me some candelabra. So classy. And that's not all, bro. I'm old enough to walk by myself, Pastor Munch. Do not hold my hand. Well, here, hold my hand, yo jawbone. Come get you a taste of this thumb war. Sheriff Pastor Munch, are these the helpers you promised me? Casey and Terry, the teens with bad attitudes? Yeah. And the flesh. Okay, Pastor Munch, I feel we had a teeny miscommunication, but that's all right, I forgive you. Well, girls, are you two ready to help me do a bunch of flouncy, sparkly lady pageant jobs? 
keep dreaming, Grandma. I know you did not just say that to me. Well, Terry, you're uh-huh. a real star, uh-huh. uh-huh. Minerva, are you thinking what I'm thinking? I don't know. Are you thinking about superchargers? Casey, Terry, I have a proposition for you. Oh, look, a raffle! Yeah, it's like you enter to win a car from that store with the embarrassing invisible guy and the big hair old sexy lady. What kind of car? Can I drive it underwater? You could for a little bit. I want to win that car. Well then here, Sea Monster, put your stupid name on this dumb paper and like your phone number. Whatever. Here, let me do it. I don't want your slime hands all over my pencils. You're injured! Now go watch that dumb pageant! I saw what you wrote, Terry. You didn't put Sea Monster's name on the paper. You wrote Marco! Cause I think Marco ought to win that dang old car! He's too cool to ride a bike! Good idea, Terry! You're like smarter than you look. Excuse me, girls. Do you know what time the pageant starts? It's already started, duh. They're doing it right now. Yeah! Can't you hear all that Karen on in there? Plus they got that dumb screen showing it. See? Now a round of applause for the ghost pirates and their rousing rendition of Blow the Man Down. Oh no! They already started the talent competition? I'm supposed to do impressions for my talent. We'll do an impression of a car and zoom on out of here. Very well. This pageant is the worst. I can't wait till Marco wins that car and drives us somewhere less embarrassing. Hey, mean girls. What y'all doing? What does it look like we're doing, yo, sparkle britches? Up to trouble. Stop talking to us like you know us. Ugh, you're like so orange and round. Yeah, man, ain't you got somewhere to be? Are that dumb old pageant in there? Yeah, I'm probably gonna win. Yeah, you're gonna win. You're gonna win dorkiest man in town. No, I'm gonna win the whole pageant. Uh. Now it is my very special pleasure to welcome grieving widow and real housewife of Kirtle Hollow, Fibula Von Snap, who is here with her best frenemy, Botch Libula, to perform a cartwheel duet. Anything you can do, I can do better. Let's all support her in her chosen method of healing after tragedy. Man, so things going on way too long. How long we gotta be here? Let's go get bubble tea. Okay, did we hear any news about the death trap? I mean, your car. They're working on it now. I think the octopus creature is preparing an estimate. I say we ask the witches to pitch in for the repairs whenever they're done with whatever it is they're doing over there in that corner of the waiting room. Casting spells to boost their fame levels. Moonlight limousine, dog in purse. Give us the fame that we deserve. Did it work? I don't feel famous. Actually, I think it did. You guys are on TV right now. Turn it up! In rural news, a garrulous coven of witches, known as the Mandrake Sisters, has escaped from the catacombs after centuries of self-exile. Erlene, Louise, and Barbara Mandrake are not considered dangerous. Unless you fear they'll make another episode of The Witching Hour, a truly terrible television program. That's editorializing! Let's make a curse! They are seeking fame and fortune which will be difficult if voters approved an ill-advised tax on Bootube as they trickle to the polls this afternoon, even though they could be attending a charming beauty pageant. Uh, we should probably vote today if we ever get out of here. Chip, get away from the sausage. If you're out and about today, as a quick reminder that the music box murderer is still at large and presumed angry. Investigators are searching for Summoning Simon, who was suspected in the deaths of a reclusive collector as well as casino magnate Donald Von Snap. Officials say residents should carry on as normal, but to keep an ear out for haunting melodies or the sound of complaining. Turn it off! I didn't like that. 
deep purse, great purse. Where did you people find a car like that? At a fine, reputable establishment that does not resurrect vehicles from a junkyard. Well, I'm gonna thank you folks for bringing it in, because I have never seen a machine with more problems in all my life. I mean, I got 50 fingers on eight hands, and I can't even count all the things wrong with what I saw back there. Cost, please. And how long will it take? Well, let's see. I work about eight times as fast as a regular mechanic, so a couple of days will do it. We do not have a couple of days. We have to be on the road today because we have a very important job to finish. Oop, my bad. Actually, there may be something I can do for you. Okay, I'm ready to hear your weird proposition. I'd like you to attend a party. You what got it. What kind of party? Sometimes my wife has a little get-together at the house. It ain't fancy, just her and the ladies in her pod. But it's important to her if she gets very sad when attendance is poor. Okay, and if we go, you'll help us get back on the road? It's a big job, but if you go to that party, I'll stay late and finish the repairs. I guess we could go. It's real easy to get there. My house is right down the road. It's the one with the pink gravel and the scuba diver statue. Great. I'll bring my swim trunks. I think you'll feel empowered by this decision. You know, I used to be just like you all. Drifting through life wherever the currents took me, spend all day in my reef, eating ice cream with eight spoons and hoping nobody would see through my camouflage. Now I make six figures and drive a pink hearse, and it's all because of Bloody Mary Kay beauty products. You're using too much blush, Nita. I think you should use the ink sack applicator to highlight your cheekbones, just like I did. You look like a Rorschach test. Besides, we're just killing time here. This is clearly one of those parties where people feel pressure to buy crap from their friends so they can sell crap to their other friends. If you're enchanted by these wonderful products, I want you to say Bloody Mary Kay three times into your hand mirror, and I'll sign you up to become an associate. There's no pressure. I'm just going to float around the room and see how you're doing. We're the most beautiful people here. No one else has warts. Don't y'all know that ain't the point of these parties? We're here to be pampered and feel empowered. I mean, I love makeup, but beauty's only skin deep. And ugly is to the bone! <laughs> you gonna buy those Egyptian earrings? No way. This is obviously a pyramid scheme. Nice, nice, very nice. Ooh, mysterious. Are those bags under your eyes intentional? Oh, they are? Here comes the lady, Nita. She's gonna be mad we didn't follow directions. You two are from the shop, aren't you? I can always tell when somebody's swimming against the current. Why, whatever do you mean? He said with lipstick on his teeth. You're disrupting my flow with all your antics. Now the other monsters are eating their makeup and your three friends won't shut up about sausages for some reason. If it weren't for you, I'd probably have dozens of new associates under my thrall. I mean network. Sorry, we just want to hang out while your husband fixes our car. I know the arrangement. He does this all the time. But one call from me, honey, and he'll stop working on your car. Then you'll be stuck way out here for a long, long time. We'd like to avoid that. Then sell me some makeup and get me some leads. Come help me, Octavia. I'm trying to use this here green foundation, but it is not working with me. Like, at all. You're doing a stipple, and you need to smear. That's what I'm doing. Can't you say I'm doing it? Chip, I want to get out of here. Therefore, we need to sell some makeup. Feeling handsome and ready to work. You know, Chip, I'd do just about anything for a chintzy rat skin purse, but how can I get one? I think you just write down the names of ten friends and their phone numbers. I bet they'll thank you for it later. I want those samples. I can only think of two names! And you know, that purse is pretty good. But what I want is that pink satin jacket. Every celebrity has one of those. We're celebrities. And we need that jacket. Well, baby, you have to sign up to be an associate. Remember the words I told you to say? Bloody Mary Kay! Bloody Mary Kay! Bloody Mary Kay! Oh, say, Nita. You remember that time you looked so good they asked you to leave church? What kind of makeup were you wearing? 
That would be Bloody Mary Kay, Chip. Bloody Mary Kay! 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 Won't you take a moment to applaud your friends and neighbors who braved humiliation and public shaming for a brief moment of glory on stage as they parade one final time before the judges to the tune of an outmoded boy band song none of you have thought about for six or seven years. Goliath the music, if you will. All right, Minerva. Would you like to see if we can squeeze these rather large items into the diminutive hatchback hearse that Chip insisted we drive here? Oh, hey, Albert. You heading in to watch the pageant winner's ceremony? Well, I might, Minerva, but I was primarily here to pick up the levy sign it just promised. Apologies, Albert. It seems Mrs. Weaver didn't want signage to disrupt the visual flow of the event space. I thought it would be rather rude to insist. We put the posters at our booth instead. Here they are. Oh well, that's all right. I believe I will place these in the proper recycling receptacle. Two contestants remain on the stage, which means it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for. Envelope, please. Thank you, Quintus. What's wrinkling you, Albert? You seem a little down. Well, I am a bit distraught, Minerva. The votes have been tallied, and my emergency levy proposal has been resoundingly defeated. Surely the votes could not have been counted already. Not even the thousand-fingered town treasurer, High Five, could have accounted for them so quickly. And the first runner-up and winner of a wonderful gift card to Armando's Talon Grill, the gymnastic gyrations of Fibula Von Snap and Botulipula. That means that our winner and scholarship recipient is our very own Pumpkin. Turnout was historically low, Rochester. There were so few votes, High Five could count them on one hand. That stinks, Albert. I'm really sorry. We'll get them next time. I just thought that everyone would turn out and support. I guess it's difficult to keep the town's attention when so much is competing for it. Take your winner's walk, Pumpkin, and let us pause to admire Pumpkin's no eyes, green hair stem, and sequined overalls. Remember everyone, the after party is being held at Armando's Talon Grill from now until Armando kicks you all out. Ta-ta, and have a good evening. Minerva and I are here for you, Albert. We'll help you do what it takes to get funding for your project. That's nice, Rochester. We'll get back to work on it tomorrow. Come on, Albert. Roddy and I are going to hit the late night diner. Let's get you some pancakes. See, Nita? I knew the car would pull through. It just needed a little love and attention. And about 30 associate memberships to Bloody Mary Kay. Oh, I hope it's okay I gave the witches your phone number. They asked for it, and I just thought you guys would really hit it off. Are we almost there? It's getting all dark and creepy, and I would really like to wrap this up tonight. I think I see the bridge we're not supposed to cross, which... You know, makes me really want to cross it. Okay, pull over here so we can look for the address. Do you see a house or a hut or somebody who looks like they're waiting on sausages? No. All I see are those seductive pools of light just below the water. I wonder what they are. Let's not find out. I'm going to get out and see if I can find our customer. You know, I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, In my experience, there should be a house with every address. This whole situation has bad vibes written all over it. Relax. If I run into a big scary monster, I'll just take off my clothes so it can't see me. I'm probably the scariest thing out here. 
You will be if you take your clothes off. Oh crap, I should have said that. Chip, are you out there? Are you okay? Chip? What happened? Nita, I don't know how you multiplied, but I was just ambushed from behind. All five of you need to get back in the car right now. What are you talking about? Who attacked you? I don't know, but they were wearing a cloak of very fine cotton, similar to my robe. Well, that's a weird detail, Chip. That's the attacker. Just leave me here with the sausages as it was always meant to be. Chip, you don't think this is... Crap! Crap. Quick, Nita, make some nunchucks out of these sausages. He's coming around the side of the car, Nita. Get ready! Okay, remember your chance. You've got this, remember. Okay, you know what to do. Sundown stinks. Bats in the cellar and wipe the wooden stink! Ha! Good job, Nita. Just as I would have done. Thank you, Count Fangula Karate. Run, you coward! Be ready when I summon you for a rematch! Hey, look! He must have dropped this when I smote him with sausages. It's a little silver... stick. Is that plastic? Yeah. I'll hang on to it for the fez. Man, I hate that Simon got away. If I had my yellow belt, that jerk would be lying on the dirt right now. Speaking of injuries, how is mine these days? Oh, right. We should probably get you home, actually. It looks like you're bleeding a little. That's okay. I'm covered in bandages. You rang, Chip? That's a new record, Nita. Now I know I'll be in good hands if my health takes a turn. It could happen. Why is Rochester here? Your response times were starting to flag. I had no choice but to expand the Chip Clearly Crisis Response Action Team. I'm pleased to report that you both did good. Ring that bell again, and it will be your death knell. Do you need something, Chip, or can I go back downstairs where I work? They're showing reruns of the witching hour but I can't reach the remote. Ow! Sorry. <laughs> and that's why Marco looks so cool in his new car. What? Casey and Terry ran the pageant raffle. Oh, oh, yeah, that makes sense. In other news, voters gave a big thumbs down on the boo tube tax measure and would have updated our inadequate ethernet security system and Blah, 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 it did not pass. Oh, crap. We missed the election. A deflated Albert Ghost, whose sheets drug on the ground as he learned the issue had failed, said he's already collecting signatures to retry the issue. After a brutal post hoc analysis, I have concluded that insufficient marketing is to blame for our poor voter turnout. As such, I will begin communicating to For your sanity and mine, here's footage of Marco doing donuts on top of the clock tower. Oh, I feel bad. We got so busy with makeup and karate and stuff, we forgot to vote for Albert's thing. I can see from your pain that you need no lecture from me. But I agree it's past time to focus on your friends and neighbors. You could start with an abject apology to Albert. Yeah, we should do that. Doesn't Albert like stationery? Yeah, but he's embarrassed about it. This just in! Stop discussing your future plans and listen to me! I feel seen. Police are reporting that summoning Simon, the suspected music box murderer, was found dead late this evening. Wait, what? As detectives reckon he is the third victim of the cacophony melody. Authorities won't confirm the existence of a serial killer, but Simon was found face down in his home in a bowl of lucky harms. With his final moments, investigators say Simon managed to utter a single word directed at the responding officers. Nincompoop. It seems the murderer is still at large. I think it's time to put on your investigation hats. <laughs>